Hi guys, it's Flo and today I'm here with Namjoon. This is RM from BTS and today I wanted to paint his face because uh, I love the mood of the painting. I love uh, the soft colors and the natural look uh, that it has. I'm painting on paper this time. This is a 9 by 12 format and uh, the reference of everything I'm using on the painting will be listed down below. As you may know, I like to start by painting the eyes and this time I'm starting my painting on a white sheet of paper. I usually paint on a stained surface but this time I don't know why I started on a white canvas. This is sometimes quite difficult to gouge the colors because everything that you paint on top of a white surface looks very dark. So for me it was pretty difficult to see the right values and colors uh, when I started. Everything seems so 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 dark, especially the eyes. And um, I had some difficulty to build up the volumes and um, the values. I start by painting the darkest colors first because uh, when you do the opposite, uh, meaning starting from light to dark, the colors can become muddy very quickly. When I paint on white, I find it difficult because everything seems so dull, but when you paint the rest of the face and see the context of all the shades all together, it ends up much more harmonious and everything seems much more coordinated. Now I'm placing the general shades on the skin. I'm doing that pretty quickly with a big brush, so I speed up the process. This painting was a short one because it took me 5 hours. I generally put much more hours and effort, but uh, I wanted to try a new paper that I bought. Now moving on to the ears, I'm starting with the darkest shades first and you can see we start with almost black and I'm building up the context. One tip that I can give you is that I'm using my iPad for picking the right shades. I'm using the program that's called Procreate and I use the color picker. Uh, so that I can choose the right color and I am able to mix the shades that I see and to copy that onto my surface. I used to color check my colors, um, you know, using the usual method, uh, using my paintbrush and placing it to the photo that I was copying. But um, I feel like picking on an iPad or onto your computer is much more simpler and so that I can have a nice way to see the values and the colors more accurately. Painting the ear was very fun because it has so many variations of colors, all those reds and purple and even grey and uh, it gives much more richness and uh, yeah, I really appreciate painting something that is a little bit complicated. And now I'm painting the nose. And again, I'm starting with the darkest value, a little bit of outline, and I'm filling all those areas, touch by touch, and um, trying to correct also all the mistakes that I do at the same time. I struggled a little bit to paint the nose, but uh, as usual, it's uh, one of the most difficult features to paint, uh, because uh, also the reference picture was a little bit too bright, and so I couldn't see everything properly. It's very important to have the right reference picture, because, uh, you know, it avoids you to have struggles like that, not to see the right shapes, and trying to guess it's something that is very, very frustrating.
And now I'm feeling the other cheek and cheekbone. But here you can see I'm struggling a little bit onto the left side of the nose because uh, I'm losing the features. And now I'm moving on to the clothes, which is pretty boring to paint, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to accelerate the process because uh, I am much more interested in painting the features of the face. Painting his lips were very satisfying because it has so many variations of tones and contrast and really Nam Jones has beautiful lips. Another tip here is to avoid any arch edges between the color of the lips and the rest of the skin. You almost want something that looks a little bit blurry. Uh, it looks much better, especially if you like realism. I am placing the colors touch by touch, as you can see. We have so many variations of tones, and especially the transitional shades. And it's important not to blend at the beginning of the process, and refrain to do it, and wait until almost the end of the painting of the feature to do so. And it's important to be patient because if you blend too quickly, it can end up muddy and it's difficult to correct. And now this is the gel with the black line. It looks way too dark when you look at it uh, right now, but you will see it's the right shade at the end. And now this is the neck and uh, I am filling all the gaps. And you can see now that I placed all the colors, I am blending everything so that it looks much more smooth. And now we are almost at the end of the process and I'm painting the jewelry. And of course, I'm coming back on some other features to add some details. And here is the finished painting and it took me five hours to paint. I hope you will enjoy the painting. See you very soon.